Scorpio. This will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Scorpio, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't put a word in edgewise. So, Scorpio, some type of confrontation is happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now Scorpio, you can tell me that you're meditating on confronting them. Scorpio, you can tell me you are confronting them and then you're going to heal individually on your own, okay? You can tell me that you're confronting them and then you're taking a break here. Scorpio, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Scorpio could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Scorpio, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. 
Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. Clarify the world for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's block communication. Scorpio... I feel like you're closing out a cycle and blocking this person, maybe because some type of a confusion here, because you're confronting them about something. You could also be blocking them and closing out a cycle because of some type of lies or illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Because again, you're confronting them here. Scorpio, you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. Clarify strength for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Scorpio, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups again. <sighs> So like I said, Scorpio, you could be all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're restraining yourself here because there was some type of rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument. And some type of confusion here. Maybe this is why you're blocking them. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're... Just wanting to muster the strength and courage to move on and close out this cycle because they were out being a player getting cookies somewhere. There was some type of lies or illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. Scorpio, you have the four of wands. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Scorpio, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the seven of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. 
So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're standoff or shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Hmm. Scorpio, you could be setting some type of boundaries in you guys' relationship. Um, you're finding out something that they did that e is either causing some type of confusion and an argument or it's causing you to feel like you just want to just put it to rest here, Scorpio. Because they could be having other options. Scorpio, you have the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Scorpio, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Scorpio, clarify the chariot. For Scorpio, clarify the chariot. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Scorpio, you can tell me that there's something going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. And Scorpio, you can tell me that you're breaking up with this person and you're moving on, moving forward. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're breaking up and you're actually physically moving or relocating here. Scorpio, you can tell me that you're telling them to, to hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. What you say? I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, they don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. They don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Scorpio. And it says, I couldn't let you get close to me. I couldn't let you get close to me. Scorpio, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for August the 8th through August the 9th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? <laughs>